What is up, ladies and gentlemen, Mugsists? Pez 19 Master League, the long awaited Master League series, is gonna begin right now, right here. And yeah, it's got International Champions Cups now. Jupiter Pro League, uh, Super Liga, <laughs> and all of those great leagues. But we're gonna play, be playing in this certain league, not the Dutch League, no. Uh, Liga Nos, that's the one, the Portuguese League. So that's the the club we were playing in. And uh, let's uh, let's you know what, let's skip all of this and let's get the shit started. Yeah, I will be playing on top player, and I'm gonna change the currency to euros once again. That's sort of a generally accepted currency in the footballing world. So uh, yeah, I think it's pretty set. And should I change this every day or only? You know what? Only when there is progress sounds good, yeah? So I'm gonna start my career at a club where Jose Mourinho got his uh, fame from and he won the Champions League with this team. And this team has not been doing too well in the recent years, in the Champions League at least. And this is me taking over and making Porto once again a force to be reckoned with. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be from uh, Portugal, obviously. Why would I be from any other country besides Portugal? I mean, come on, that's not even a choice. My name is Jose Juan Jalapeno, but you can call me the spicy one. There he is, Jose, coming out for his first press conference after being assigned the manager of Porto, one of the biggest clubs in the country of Portugal, that is. He joined Porto as their manager in August 2018, and let's hope that from this point onwards, Porto's name will be mentioned alongside the likes of Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, and Manchester United. Wait, what? First thing first, I'm gonna send Russo from the uh, Youth Academy. Uh, he's looking like a promising start. He's very young, 18 I think he is, and 65 rated already. Uh, yeah, I've got my eyes on Harrington. Should I go with Olika? Well, I don't even know how to say that name. Uh, or Harrington. I think I'm gonna go with Harrington because he's an attacking midfielder. I think I wanna... I wanna... Because I don't... I mean, at the moment, I'm running with two two uh, left midfielders or wingers or whatever you wanna call them. Uh, wide players, but in the future, I want... I want a, I want a more compact formation, so I'll need someone like uh, AMF in the future. That's why I got him. And I'll all obviously be signing other uh, players as well. Um, obviously, we can't go after really big players. Uh, this is Porto. I mean, yeah, it is the biggest uh, club in the, uh, the country, but not yet in the world. And hopefully one day it will be, and then we will go after the big names. But for now, we'll have to do with the upcoming, uh, you know, future stars. Oh, let's just put it that way. I don't think I'm going to put another scout out. We've got one already, and that's really it. Our budget is not that big, so uh, we'll have to be very careful with who we sign and all that. Now, Casillas is obviously our number one, so I'm going to keep him. I'm actually even going to let him retire at the club if that's what he wants. But some of these other players that are over 30 years old, I'm going to put them on the transfer list, and uh, if I got a good offer for them, I will sell them because they are pretty old and they're not getting any better. Uh, probably this transfer window will be closed by the time the, um, we end the video because I'm going to be playing three games. So I'm pretty sure the transfer window will be closed by then. So I'd have made all the signings that I want. But I want you to tell me who to sign, uh, who I should be going for in the future. Uh, perhaps in the summer transfer window or even in the in next season. So uh, please let me know who you want me to sign. So I, this is the list of players that I would like to sign either this season or next season. I mean, some of them like Isco, Varane and uh, Neymar are probably not going to happen this season or even next season. Maybe a couple of seasons down it will happen. But Renato Sanchez is the first signings. I'm, you know, I'm going after him because he's Portuguese. He's a free agent in the game. Therefore, I do not have to pay transfer uh, fee for him either. So it's like a free transfer almost. Well, it is free in a way. I don't know. I mean, I still have to play his, uh, pay him salary. So it's not that free, but you know what I mean. Anyways, so yeah, Renato Sanchez is the one I'm going to go after. I think I'm going to go after a couple other players as well. A lot of young young players like Renato Sanchez, players who still have a lot of potential and uh, currently are not that bad either. You know, they have to be pretty good 
um, currently as well. We're not just looking for the future. We're also looking for someone who can who will do well at this very moment. Let's uh, go ahead and see what happens with that. And the International Champions Cup. So that's okay. Two new players. Oh wait, what? Oh, that's the. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? I didn't even agree to the terms. Uh, Renato Sanchez is in the team that quickly. It's not Renato Sanchez. It's the two youngsters uh, that are in owner. Let me be the first to thank you for joining Porto. I've got big plans for this club with you at the helm. First up for you, though, is the International Cup. Use it as a fair trial by fire to forge a squad capable of seeing us through the season. Oh, and you can expect a bonus. Yep, pretty much um, as it has been um, last time as well. I'm going to show you your first player signed. Yeah, da, 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 whatever, yeah, it's pretty much the same. The owner trust is at 50% and he wants me to win the International Champions Cup. Um, there is Roma, Athleti, and I didn't see the last team. But those are the, the teams that are in this Champions Cup. And he wants me to win it. I do not think I can win it. Liverpool, so... Yeah, they're all better than us. Let's be honest. They are all better than us on paper. But we do not play on paper. We play on the ground, on the field. Anyways, let's move on. What the fuck am I saying? International Champions Cup. First game, Roma versus Porto. And look at that. They're all anxious. They're all looking forward to this game. Casillas, I've made him the captain of the side. Like I said, I'm expecting him to retire any time now. So, uh, obviously, he holds a special place in my heart. I am a Real Madrid fan in real life, so obviously, he is very special to me. Um, one of the reasons why I didn't sell him, I might have actually... I mean, he's still a pretty good player, um, goalkeeper. He's 81 rated, so uh, for a club like Porto, that's pretty good. And yeah, look at that. The stadium's packed. The fans want to see what the new manager has to offer Jose Juan Jalapeno he claims that he is going to be the new Jose Mourinho and he's given himself the nickname the spicy one and the fans are just hoping he can add a bit of that spice to the game of Porto here's the Roma lineup and look at that the Greek god Manolas is there too Jacko up top Mirante is in the goal and uh, yeah, pretty much the same old they've got a couple of players that are new but nothing nothing good the stadium is fucking amazing by the way look at that it's brilliant there's our lineup and um, I'm not wait I don't know why it's saying I've got an AMF I don't have an AMF I actually have a defensive midfielder and a center midfielder uh, that's what it supposed to be but it's showing the center midfielder almost in that amf that number 10 role which it's not so i just want to clarify that anyways kick off come on let's do this oh no it's not looking good what is that oh <laughs> what a horrendous mistake on the first fucking game of my career this is not good jacko puts it past but what a horrendous mistake that was from the fullback there. I don't know who it was. <laughs> I don't quite know all the players yet. I mean, I do know them, but I don't... I don't know. I didn't... I don't, I don't know. I just... Look at that. I was trying to clear the ball. And I instead... Because I was holding A for... And he just... Uh, just a comedy of errors, isn't it? And because he just stays down on his belly is like what do you want me to do there like there's nothing I can do man I mean I'm sorry but what do you expect me to do with that and that was such a such an, a brilliant finish as well it came off the woodwork Corona whips it inside to Bud Light I mean Abu Bakr and he could not get his head to it and it's out for a corner Roma is attacking once more oh that's a beautiful pass he whips it inside and oh the defender does well in clearing that and uh, it's gone to the Roma players again. They've still got it. They're passing around them. Oh, what a great piece of passing that was. That was an amazing passing display from the Roma players. And just like that, they're two goals up. It's the second goal for Jacko this game. And he's one away from a hat trick. And Porto is 2 0 down in the first half. His first game for Mr. Jalapeno, or Senor Jalapeno, I should say, is not going the way he would have liked it to. But look at that. They are down, and it's going to take quite a bit of work 
to get back into this one. That was some amazing piece of passing. You have to give it to uh, Roma on that occasion. And uh, there's, there wasn't much the Porto defenders could have done. Porto attacking once more from the flanks. And he whips it inside. And the striker doesn't seem to be able to get his head to it. And it's not a good strategy from Porto. Attacking from the flanks when they haven't got a target man in the middle. Roma once again in the opponent's final third. And they're passing around them. Oh, that would have been nasty if that had gone in. But it hasn't. And it's not looking good. Roma is in firm control of this game. And Porto, Jalapeno has to do something to turn this game around before it's too late. The ref blows a halftime whistle and it's 2-0 at halftime. Dzeko scoring both of those goals for Roma. And Porto not looking too good. The stadium is majestic, mate. I love this stadium. Porto on the attack once more. Once again, they're looking for a cross in and they're unable to get a shot off. And uh, I think they need to change their tactics. They need to go back to the drawing board and uh, decide on attacking, being more direct because uh, attacking from the flanks is not working. They haven't got a, a man in the middle who can really climb above the defenders and get his head to the ball. All right, get to it, mate. Intercept that, let's go, come on. You've got the pace and he's got no support though and he's got three defenders to beat and he has to pass it back. You know what, let's whip it inside. Abu Bakr cannot get his head to it once more. Once again, the strategy fails. But you know what, I'm going to hit it this time. We just aren't able to... The, I mean, the goalkeeper isn't even... We haven't given anything to the goalkeeper. We're not. The, our shots are being blocked before it even gets to the goalkeeper. How are we meant to score goals? Oh, no, that's a brilliant... Oh, it's a fuck-off, man. It's another goal from Roma. That's 3-0. And I think that's game, set, and match for Roma. That's done and dusted. There's no coming back from this one. Jekko gets his hat trick. And Casillas not looking happy. And rightfully so. But there's not much. I mean, if you look at the way Roma is moving the ball, I mean, it's amazing to watch. There's not much the Porto defenders can do about that. Look at that. They're pinpoint accuracy with those passing. And Porto, obviously, not very accurate at all with the with their passing and it's just completely it looks like a complete mismatch it shouldn't be because Porto is a very good team but it is um, Roma's day it is not Porto's day I'm afraid to say are they gonna make it 4-0 is Roma gonna make it 4-0 no he clears it but he clears it straight to the fucking player who crossed it in and whoa all right good oh my God, mate, the goalkeeper was beat on that occasion, and I thought I was, that was a goal for certain. But it's not, and we have given up the ball again. It's fucking pissing me off now. I was trying to keep my cool. Oh, fuck you! What is this, man? As if it wasn't bad enough, they go on to score an own goal. Porto, I have to keep my composure. I have to be a neutral commentator fucking pissing me off. But look at that. He decides to pass it back to Casillas. And Casillas, I guess he's getting too old. He doesn't have a fucking clue what he's doing. He just goes right past him. What the fuck are you doing, Casillas? What is that? Oh, now you're... The f Whatever, mate. I mean, it's not like... It makes a difference. 4 0, 3 0, it's the same fucking thing, isn't it? And that's the end of the game. It's a 4 0 defeat for the spicy one. And that is not how he hoped his first game would go. And uh, Jacko scores three. He takes the game ball home. And uh, an own goal for Porto as well. And uh, piss off, mate. You're just pissing me off with that ball. Kisses it too, you fucking prick. Anyways, but you know what? That's not the end of the spicy one, mate. The spicy one will make a comeback. That's for sure. And it's also the International Champions Cup. I mean, who gives a shit? I like how I say that after I get battered. But yeah, Liverpool and Athletic drew 2-2. So Roma's at the top of the league. Liverpool second, Athletic third. And we are at the bottom, obviously, since we absolutely got smashed, mate. And I think that's Renato Sanchez joining us. Come on, mate. We need you. We really need you. There he is. Renato Sanchez. No. Fuck off. Got me so excited. It's not Renato Sanchez. I've just realized I haven't even heard back from him. I have to. He has to, you know, send an offer and then I have to accept that offer and then he'll be joining us. But Ibrahimi. Ibrahimi. Ibra what? Ibrahimi. Not Ibrahimi. I don't know why I said Ibrahimi. Oh, okay. So there's an update on Renato Sanchez. Uh, transfer talks. 
But Brahimi has uh, gained a new role. That's what that was. So let's see, Renato Sanchez. Obviously, there is going to be no transfer fee, uh, but there is the salary. So the current player salaries is 970000 I'll be paying him 1.6 mil. 93000 more. I don't know if I should ask him to reduce that or if I should just go with it. As uh, after the first game, I'm sort of desperate, you know. <laughs> you know what, I'm just going to accept it. Yeah, whatever, let's go. So, Renato Sanchez is officially a Porto. Well, not yet, but he will be after the next game. This is against an even better opponent than the last one, Atletico Madrid. Let's just hope that they don't batter us as much as uh, Roma did. Now, I'm going to also try to sign another uh, player. Cloyvet, I mean, the chances of signing him are pretty high. Uh, Vinicius Jr. is pretty good too. Lucas Paqueta. Uh, it's only one bar, so that's not looking good. Rashford, it's a bit in the middle. You know what? I'm going to go after Rashford. Like I said, I'm desperate, mate. <laughs> I, uh, I I need someone good in my team. Uh, someone that I can build my team around. And sell on option. What is all this? Okay. I think this is new. Maybe it wasn't last year as well. I didn't really pay that much attention last year. But those are the terms I'm going uh, with. Uh, for Rashford, I hope he accepts. I mean, I am. Go, I I will be making a purchase from the man I call my mentor, Jose Mourinho, of course. All right, Donnarumma. Oh, I don't think I can. I yeah. Oh wow! So if I max it, it goes to a hundred percent. Is that? Wait, how does that work? Because if I max it, it only goes up by a million dollars. Like the, not even a million, less than a million actually. I don't know. So this is the offer I'm going to go with for Cloyvert. Although I don't know if you would want to join after the game we just had against him. I'm going to go after Hernandez as well because I need a good defender. Um, and he is a good young defender. He's the highest rated player I'll be going after this transfer window because I don't think I have enough funds after, you know... I give 23 million to this guy. I don't know what am I going to give the others. So, um, well, let's hope that it. Wa Wait, what? What? Why? Okay, what? I would think that the higher the release clause is, the more the chances of signing would be. That is so weird, man. D I. Okay. I don't... So I can... Wow, okay. You know what? I'm gonna go with it. Because I'm not gonna release this guy. This guy is too valuable to be released. I'm probably gonna end up selling him if I am looking to offload him. So, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, anyway, so... Rabiot is another player I want to go after. But his chances of signing is very low. Isco, for some reason... Well, I guess he is a bit unhappy at Real Madrid. So I'm gonna go... Oh... Yeah, I don't have enough funds. Yeah, I can't go after Isco. Renato Sanchez has joined up with the club. So there's our third signing. Really the first sort of big one, because the first two were youth players. Um, so yeah, Renato Sanchez right there, 76 rated. He's very young, so there's a lot of room for development. And he's also Portuguese. This is the lineup I'll be going with in the second game of the International Champions Cup against Atletico. Madrid. Second game for Triple J and Porto in the International Champions Cup against Atletico Madrid. It is good. Dean is looking fresh. And uh, so is our captain, Herrera. And uh, they're coming out. It's pretty good sight when they came out of the tunnel, you know. The stadium overall is pretty nice. Oh, actually, it's a different stadium. Or is it the same stadium, but they have the, the roof off? Is it one of those stadiums? I love those stadiums. And who doesn't? They're fucking billion dollar, well not billion, but very expensive stadiums. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And uh, yeah, look at that. It's packed once more. Atletico Madrid fans are excited. And Renato Sanchez is getting a chance uh, to play for Porto. He's looking good in that Porto kit. And uh, Atleti players are looking good too. The fans are excited. Porto fans, not as much because they got quite a battering in the last game. 
but uh, they are excited to see how they uh, Porto will make a comeback. Jose Juan Jalapeno will make a comeback, and uh, it's a very important uh, game for him as well to prove to the fans and to the ownership that he's not done yet, mate. That first game was not the end of him, but um, yeah, there's the lineup for Atletico Madrid. Very good lineup, very strong lineup. And uh, it's gonna prove to be very difficult because if Roma did what they did to Porto, I'm sure Atletico can do the same or even more. Right, Porto to kick the game off. Right from the get-go, Atletico's on the attack. That is not, oh, that should not have made it to the player in the box. That is very poor defending from Porto. That should not. There was a low cross. And there was a player in the middle, a defender in the middle. See right there, he should have been able to clear it. Again, the player got ahead of the, uh, his defender, his marker. That shouldn't have happened. A lot of things to improve on for Porto. A lot of things to improve on for Jalapeno. Come on once again, he should have been more aware of that. And what is going on? Spass it down to Thomas Lamar. Diego Costa making a run forward. And he takes the shot and puts it past. It's not Casillas. I don't know who that. I forgot his name. But puts it past that goalkeeper. And once again, Porto is down. This is not the start he wanted. This is the second game. And he's finding himself down. Jose Juan Jalapeno I'm talking about. Of course, the spicy one is looking quite mild today and also yesterday and Aaron, Aiden or I don't know how to say the name is looking quite excited that was a good move from Diego Costa the defense has been shred apart there and um, this is uh, there's a lot of work for Jalapeno to do with this team I set up pass it inside up again you know what let's uh oh I don't know what to do that's the thing they're all crowded oh take the shot oh my god that's a goal yes it is finally Fucking finally, I score a goal. Brahimi scores that one. <sighs> and that is a sigh of release right there for Jose Juan Jalapeno. Look at that. <laughs> Hit him in the bloody face, the defender. And the goalkeeper is gone. And there's not much he can do after that once he's dived. And he's down. And um, the Porto players picks up on it. And I don't understand why there's a my player in front of the goalkeeper why is he trying to block my shots like that's what i don't understand pass forwards oh once again on the flanks he's gonna whip it inside and nobody not oh come on take the come on should have been up two nil i mean two one but uh came off the defender and it's a co uh, corner but once again i'm coming off the flanks like there's really i i, I don't seem to be able to di attack directly and I think that's because I've got these wingers and not many players in the middle. I've only got two center midfielders. I think I need to get three, uh, perhaps. Take one striker off. But uh, like I said, oh, come on, man. Poor passing, but the good thing is... Oh, shit. The good thing was that there were no athletic uh, attackers. But they all came forwards. But they pushed it back, so we're good for now. Oh, his moon forward. This is very good to see Brahimi on the attack. He's gonna put, oh, 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 you fucking dickhead. My own player, my own fucking player takes the ball from me. He blocks my shot. It's 1-1 one, one at halftime. Should have been 2-1. But my own buddy, it's the same fucking attacker who was in front of me the last time I scored. We kick it off again, it's 1-1, Atleti versus Porto. So, pass inside to Costa, who lays it off to Rory. Rodri, I mean, and he's passing inside to Griezmann. What a save from the goalkeeper. And there's not much he can do about the second time save, and Porto is down once more, 2-1. Vitolo puts it past the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper, to be fair to him, does pretty well saving it the first time. But the dickhead defenders of Porto are just standing around, not trying to get to the rebound. And the Atleti players get to it. There's a brilliant passing play right there, though. Atleti's been great with the passing. That was a great save. And then look at that defender in the middle. Look, he's just lying down, not trying to get up. Look, this defender in the middle, look. 
right there. He goes down, and he's still down. Look, he's just looking at the ball. He's down. He's not going to get up. I mean, it's not like the ball is still in play, and he can still score the bloody goal. He's just going to lay there. You want him to bring a bed down there so you can just take a nap, you fucking dickwad. I don't know what to do. Oh, there you go. He's finally, someone's made a run. And now I'm going all the way to the flanks again, and I'm going to whip it in, and guess what? Nobody's going to get their head to it. Nobody on my team, at least. Renato, come on, he passes inside. Sergio to Morega, who tries to take the shot. But he gets out muscled by the defender. And what the fuck is happening, man? Like, what was that? Holy fucking shit, it's pissing me off, man. It's been such a long time since I've had a proper rage. And this game is just, what is happening right now? All right, I got the ball. Oh, come on, ref. Come on. There we go. Brahimi, come on. Come on. Come on, please. Oh. So close from Brahimi. But uh, close won't cut it. And they're still down. And there's the full time. And it's just a case of not finishing the opportunities you've given off for Porto. This could have very easily been 3-2. But Renato Sanchez right there, he's contemplating the decision of moving to this club. They've lost two games back to back and they are officially out of the International Champions Cup. Obviously, we're going to play the game against Liverpool the last game, but uh, we're out. We Even if we win that one, there's not much we can do because... Uh, oh, so Liverpool won that game. So yeah, both Atleti and Liverpool are on four points. Even if I win the last game, it's less than four points, so I cannot win the Champions Cup, which is what the owner wanted me to do, but there's an update on the transfers, so there's some good for us. Look at that, none of the negotiation broke down, all of them have been met, and now we have a decision to make, who do we sign, who do we not sign, because, uh... so Hernandez um, is asking, the Atleti is asking for 23 mil, 23.5 mil, the mar actually they've matched the market value exactly, uh, Rashford, they're asking for 1.7 million more than the market value. And Cloyvert, they're... Oh, look at that. They're asking for 4 million less than... 4.75 million less than the po uh, market value. So I might just go for Cloyvert, you know? But Rashford is a pretty tasty player. And you know, I like tasty players since I am very spicy myself. Anyways. Oh, oh man, if I go with Hernandez, right... Uh, that's 23.5, so I'll still have about 11 um, million, about uh, or maybe 10 million, something like that, you know, give or take. And uh, his salary is 2.87. What is Cloyvet's salary? Three. Oh, shit. So yeah, I can't, <clears throat> I can't sign him. I do have the transfer funds, but I don't have. That my salary budget is going to fall short. I cannot sign Cloyvert and Hernandez at the same time. I wanted to. That would have been an absolutely amazing signings, both of them. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to go with one. And if I have to go with one, I'm probably going to go with Hernandez. Because like I said, I, I want to build a compact team. You know, a team that plays in the middle uh, more than on the wings. And Cloyvert obviously is a winger. Uh, obviously, I need a defender as well. So I think going for Hernandez makes a lot more sense than going for Cloyvet. <sighs> the decisions you have to make as a virtual manager. <laughs> Anyways, I think Hernandez it is. Yeah, there's a release fee in there, 17 million. But uh, like I said, um, I'm probably not going to re release him. I mean, he's too valuable of a player to be released. He's very young and he's already 82 rated. So I'm pretty certain someone will come in to swoop him up before we get a chance to uh, release him. So we only have 900k uh, funds in the transfer budget and he is asking for a lot more. There you go. We're short on funds. Hernandez joined up with the club and there's his first press conference. Jalapeno looking happy after the two defeats. He's like, you know what? Finally we got something working. There you go. They've both got smiles and let's hope he can bring something to the team. Something special to the team and turn the current poor form around. Well, we've only played two games, but yeah, there it is. Hernandez have joined up with the club. That's that done. I've given pretty much everyone that hadn't hasn't played yet a chance. Hernandez have joined us, as you can see, and so I've given him a chance as well to play. 
Um, so yeah, I've given pretty much everyone that hasn't played before a chance and I'm um, just testing it out because um, yeah, the first two games as you guys saw weren't too good. It's the final game of the International Champions Cup. It's not been a very good journey for Porto, but for Liverpool it has been a completely different story. They drew their first game and have won their second game. They have yet to be defeated in this competition. And uh, Porto and Jalapeno is looking to prove a point. And maybe, maybe Klopp will fall to the spicy one, the normal one, against the spicy one. And let's see who will be victorious and glorious in this game. Once again, the stadium is packed. Everyone looking forward to their club winning and taking home the first silverware of the season. Obviously, Porto can't do that because, uh, well, like I said, they haven't had the greatest of the starts. So even if they win this game, it's not going to mean much. Hence why there's pretty much all youngsters and players who haven't played before in this in their lineup. Here's the lineup for Liverpool. Sturridge is uh, up top. It's good to finally see him not injured. He's a very talented player, but injuries have done him dirty. There's the lineup for Porto. And um, yeah, the only two players, three players actually, that have played before is Renato Sanchez, who played the last game, Herrera and Casillas. And everybody else is new. So um, it's clearly Jalapeno not only sending a message to his teammates that, you know what, it doesn't matter how big of a player you are, if you're not going to perform, you're gonna, you'll be out of the squad. But also, he is telling the people that he doesn't give a shit about this game. From the get-go, Liverpool pressing forwards, they're moving, and they've, oh, they've gone up in the third minute of the game, they've gone up, Porto's bad luck continues. It's Bobby Firmino, the number nine, who's put Liverpool ahead. And at this point, I mean, it looks like they're going to win it. I don't think Atleti will defeat Roma. Uh, I think it's going to be a tie between Roma and Atleti. I'm not too sure, though, that Atleti might win. Then we'll have to look at the goal difference. But uh, this is a tremendous start. Just what Klopp and company would have hoped for. And just what Jalapeno and company would not have wanted. But here we are once again. I think in all three games... Porto have conceded in the first 10 minutes if I'm not wrong I think in the last game they conceded in like the eighth minute and the one before that I think they conceded in like the sixth or seventh minute I don't I don't remember it was something like that but fairly early I need to fucking change that again on the flanks but this time we've got different players but it doesn't make a difference because why would my players ever try to header you know, I mean, it's not like they get paid millions of fucking euros. One thing I have to give it to Konami, though. They have really made Liverpool... Oh, that's an ambitious crossing. <laughs> you fucking kidding me, Raph. You gave that offside. Like, I would... Come on, man. But yeah, uh, Liverpool, they're really pressing hard and they're really intense. You know, they're just like they are in real life. So, you gotta give props to Konami for that. Let's just take the ball. All right, I've got... What is he... <laughs> Let me just show you what happened if you missed it in case you missed it Let me just fucking show you what what just happened the dickheads that I'm dealing with Where the fuck is the ball man? Where I can't bloody find the ball now. This is pissing me off. There we go the ball is called Fuerza I thought it was like a Portuguese player <laughs> for fuck's sake There you go. All right, so look right here. My player has the ball Oh my god! I wish I was actually the manager. I would have run down the fucking pitch and I smashed this mug in his fucking face. My own player tackles. Look at that. Look at that. Look. Oh, this is just. Anyways. Right, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Make it a run. Let's go. Hernani. Hernani. You're faster than him. So don't give me that bullshit. I mean, why would my players try to score? Oh, man. It's, I mean, it's... Uh, if it's annoying for you, imagine how annoying it is for me. I mean, let's just, you know, I know you're typing... Oh, fuck off! Fuck off! Okay, finally. Something goes my way. All right, you know what? Pass down. Oh! Why didn't he score? Just score! You know what? I, I, I'm no longer going to get mad. This game doesn't matter anyways. I mean, it, it just... 
I got a headache. Like, literally, I have a headache because it's pissing me off that much. I can say I don't care all I want, but I do care. Obviously, I care, man. On the flanks again, and I'm not even trying. Oh! <gasps> Woo! First time someone gets, gets their head to it, but it's gone over the bar. And it's gone for a goal kick. Should bloody get Lukaku or someone like that. You know, like a Benteke. I could probably get like a Benteke. Is Benteke in the game? Because, I mean, I'm not actually trying to be on, uh, to attack from the flanks. It's just... I, I just... I, I'm unable to attack down the middle and I just can't... I don't know. I can't figure it out. The AI is perfect, though. Like, look at the... Look at this. Look at this. And... Oh, it's come off the post. It's come off the post. But you see that, though, right? I mean, just pinpoint accuracy. It's such bullshit, man. It's, uh, it's incredible how much bullshit there is with this AI. But I guess we did want him to make it hard. We did want Konami to make the game hard. So there, there you go. That's what we get. And that's the end of that. So this game and the last game, I have to say, um, it wasn't as bad. I mean, we lost both of them, yes. But obviously, the, uh, the first game, we didn't even create any chances, let alone you know, actually losing. And look at this prick. With their hands around the chair. I guess that's good. Why? Why? What? What are you doing? No, 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 no. Hold on. Casillas, what the fuck are you doing? You lost three games in a row. We didn't win a single game in this competition. Why are you happy? I just don't get it. Why? I guess he's getting old. He's getting senile. He doesn't give a fuck. He's like, whatever, mate. I'm out anyways after this season. I don't know if he is. But yeah. Oh, Liverpool have won it. There you go. They finished top of the league. The league? What? The top of the table. And so I think they've won the International Champions Cup. Jose, what do you have to say to the fans who are quite disappointed after the performance in the International Champions Cup? What, what, what is this? I will tell you what I have to say. I lose three games. Do you know what that means? That means I have won more trophies than the rest of the league, league combined. What are you talking about? You haven't won any trophies at all. You just started your career. Respect. 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 I think he's lost his Respect. bloody mind.